Will, are you more impressed with Kyler Murray or concerned with Dwayne Haskins? Just off of last night and what we saw, I'm more concerned with Dwayne Haskins than impressed with Kyler Murray. Now, just like we talked about earlier, mm -hmm. uh, I was a big Baker Mayfield guy, also a big Kyler Murray guy. Believed he should go number one overall and believed he should go to the Arizona Cardinals and Cliff Kingsbury. But Dwayne Haskins last night was inconsistent at best. There were some nice throws. Mm -hmm. That first throw of his pro career that we saw last night, that rollout for mm -hmm. something like 27 yards, right. was nice. But the misses, the mistakes, Ryan, I think were concerning. And I'd love for you to tell me why they were not. But the two interceptions, let's start with those. Mm -hmm. There was the interception right there that we can see on our screen that resulted in a touchdown run back by the linebacker. That's just a bad throw, right? Yeah, it is. I agree. That is an underthrow on a on a on a, on a uh, wheel route that into the flat, can't make. and and, mm -hmm. and he just got to get that over the defender's head, and it's not even close. I well, I, I agree with not that. Not even close. So okay, maybe that's a brain fart. Maybe that's a mistake, a physical mistake that we're not going to totally see crop up over and over again. But then later in the game, we see the other interception where he sails it over the middle. He's trying to fit it in, and you and I were talking earlier, he's trying to fit it in, but even, even at that, it's a bad throw. Mm -hmm. It's high, it's over the middle, which is dangerous. Um, and those kind of throws, and by the way, he turned the ball over a third time with the fumble, mm -hmm. that that is serious concerns that if he doesn't get that cleaned up real fast, it's the type of stuff where you can't play. You just can't play, and that is really concerning for the Washington Redskins. So for, for me, I can't say there was anything I saw from Kyler Murray that I wasn't expecting. I thought the release was amazing. I felt like he got the ball out of his hands quick. So I am more impressed with Kyler Murray than I am Dwayne Haskins, uh, concerned about Dwayne Haskins. But it's more about me not being concerned with Dwayne Haskins. Because you're going to throw out last night? It's, it's, it's not, no, I'm not going to throw it out at all. Oh. I'm going to take last night into account from this, from this standpoint. Dwayne Haskins was asked to do things that Kyler Murray wasn't, that Daniel yes. Jones wasn't, right? Mm. Dwayne ha Daniel Jones wasn't asked to throw the ball across the middle of the field. Everything was to the outside of the field. Even the crosser, right, on the exactly. play-action pass yeah. ended up being outside of the numbers. He wasn't asked to read downfield and make throws. And Coach Tomlin had one of my favorite sayings of all time, I'd rather say woe than sick him. You can't make him go eat. You can't make yeah. him push the ball down the field. And that's what Dwayne Haskins wanted to do. Now, I go back to his Ohio State career, which was only one year, which we saw him get better throughout the season. 50 touchdowns, only eight interceptions. This mm -hmm. isn't a guy who has decision-making problems. This isn't a guy who has anticipatory problems. Dwayne Haskins has the goods. I'm more impressed with the 27-yard rollout early on in the game. I'm more impressed with the shot in the honey hole of the cover two. I'm more impressed by a miss he has his later on where he escapes the pocket, a guy who, Saw that is, miss. who is not known yeah. as a runner, down in the corner of yeah. the end zone. Nice and, so, and so when I see all of those things, I say, okay, we did see some rookie mistakes. We also saw six series where out of Kyler Murray, we saw seven throws. Daniel Jones, we saw five throws. And so I'm not necessarily concerned with Dwayne Haskins because I believe he will progress. But you admit, we saw six series with Dwayne Haskins, and as a result, we also saw Dwayne Haskins against lesser competition than we saw Agreed. Kyler Murray and Daniel Jones. So, and so, look, I'm not, I'm not throwing um, Dwayne Haskins' potential out. I'm not writing the book on Dwayne Haskins. I'm not saying this is a guy who can't be on the field because he turns the ball over. Mm -hmm. But if you're asking me if I'm more concerned with what we saw from Haskins last night or more impressed with what we saw from Murray, the concerns are larger than the impression that Kyler Murray left. Let's talk about Kyler Murray for a second. Okay. Um, we shared being big on Kyler Murray. But here's what I saw last night. You're right. I saw arm strength. I saw zip on the ball, mm -hmm. right? He got the ball out quick, which means he wasn't making complicated reads. Right. He, was, he was getting that ball out. I saw you guys talking about it on get up in two and a half seconds. Mm -hmm. But you know those passes went for like a yard, two yards, three yard gains. Now it looked like they were going for 15 because he was so far back in the shotgun. <laughs> I mean, literally the ball traveled a long way in right. the air, but it only added up to two, three, four yard gains. And I'll give you this. Haskins was d attempting stuff further downfield than Murray. Mm. So that's why I'm not going to go overboard on what Murray did last night. By the way, Daniel Jones, I think you're, I think you're underselling what he attempted last night. I think he was fitting the ball into windows down the field and mm. even in the middle of the field, at least on the slant, right. which is about 10-yard pass, something like that, which is not the most complicated throw. I give it's you that. It's crazy. Like, you can't count. What? Because you're yeah. saying Kyler Murray threw balls for like one or two yards. Right. Which – 
which, which, which can't be because it was six completions for 44 yards. So just mathematically. Well, there was some, well, there was some run math, So, you know, so mathematically, it doesn't. So mathematically, it doesn't. There was some run after the catch. It and, uh, and, and, right, and then now <laughs> Daniel Jones completed a pass to 10 yards on a slant. That wasn't a first down when you only need 10 yards to get a first down. down. It was a first down, right? And so what's what's so here's the thing. I, I I don't want to make it seem like I'm totally underplaying everything that Daniel Jones did or or even underplaying the things that Kyler Murray did. I was impressed with him. I was impressed with Daniel Jones, but I also saw things that are encouraging to me about Dwayne Haskins. And now we have to take it all with a grain of salt because it's game one. But for me, I think all of these three quarterbacks showed me last night why they were first-round picks. I think every one of those quarterbacks gave their teams reason for hope. And I think one of them gave them reason for concern as well. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.